as we mentioned, there are a lot of different ways you could write the same point in a polar coordinates. A lot of different ways. In fact, infinitely many different in ways. In fact, infinite. I, you know, uh, Chuck Norris counted to infinity twice. That sounds like something he would do. Only Chuck. Yeah, okay. So we have like a formula up here. If we have the polar coordinate r theta, any other polar coordinates of that point must be of the form this or this, where n is any integer. So you might remember at some point we did a, a thing where we had uh, Co-terminal angles. Right, we talked about having k, and then we said k is an element of the integers. The integers. Similar thing is going on here. Um, and so we want to find all the polar coordinates for the point 3, comma, pi over 3. First off, remember this is r and theta. We just plug it into these. Just right, just so, I mean, do it. right there. So, so the first one uh, would be 3, and then, and then pi over 3 plus... 2, 2, and pi. Okay. And you could look at that real quick and be like, okay, can I simplify that? Is there anything I can do with that? We I mean, get a common denominator, but to could. me, that's not I actually very helpful. No, I don't get that part. So that's the first part. And or, it's more work. As a teenager, who wants to do more work? Psh. Not, not me, but I'm, yeah. not a, I'm not a teenager, but not me. Yeah. So here we need negative r, so negative 3, You're right. comma. Pi over 3 plus... 2n plus 1 times pi. Gee, 2n plus 1, what does that do? Uh, it gets us to odd numbers, which is what we, we need to have odd pies here, not even pies. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, yeah. these are all... Those are we, all even this pies. Is, this is basically giving us, like, all of the, the places that are... Like, if we have pi over 3, that's here, right? So this right. is just having us rotate around 2 pi. Right. 2 like pi, three. 2 pi, 2 pi, 2 pi. Okay. This one is taking us to this side. But negative. Yeah, so that we have that negative. It's taking us to these angles over here. And then you would say uh, something after this where, you know, n is still, we're still having that issue of n has to be an integer. Yeah, you can't have like n equal to 1.7 or some weird thing. Right, and so something we could do is we could like say, hey, find three points from this. You just plug in like zero, one, two, and three. You know, whatever. Yeah. Or we could ask you um, to name all of them between like two angles, like between right. zero and two pi. Right. What are they? What are they? You know. And so you'd have to kind of fill in or or draw and think about what's going on. Yeah. And it's totally doable. It's not an impossible thing to do. No, not impossible. No. But I believe, if I am not mistaken, there's four ways to write each one between zero and two pi. Because we could have um, the positive angle. Well, right. okay, we could have this angle and yep. a positive. Right. We have um, between zero and two pi. I, I think, think so. Because then I could go. I could go a negative angle. No, maybe. I, maybe so it's between got negative a, two between pi negative and two pi, pi and two pi. Yeah. Yeah, because then we go a negative, and this would be still right. a positive three. But then if we look this direction at our, our negative threes, there's two ways, back to a it. positive right. and a negative. So between negative 2 pi and positive 2 pi, and there should four be ways. four ways. Right. And so between 0 and 2 pi. There should be two ways. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Kay. There we go. Now we're talking. Cool.